Jeez, oh, what a fantastic way to start the morning. Well, first challenge of the day, try to get a lure out of my sleeping bag. Thought I felt something poke me this morning and it wasn't lucky, it was this big thing right here. <laughs> Welcome back gang, we are still on the Cape, it's still happening, we're still on the road. I actually slept in a parking lot at Walmart again. This seems to be kind of like the Ritz Carlton for me. It's nice, it's free, it's convenient, it's pretty safe, and I'm only a few minutes away from my fishing spot, so it's quite ideal. But unfortunately, before I can even get anything filmed or, or make a cast today, I've gotta get this swim bait out of my sleeping bag. It doesn't seem to be budging. Hmm. I'll get back with you guys here in a second. Okay, let's get after it. I am so pumped for today's video, you guys. Very, very stoked. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me on today's Epi. Lucky and I are excited to announce that we're gonna try something a little bit different. Now, for these past few days here on the Cape, I've really been focusing on the obvious target species. When everyone comes to the Cape, you know, they target bluefish, they target stripers, cog, bluefin, that whole deal. But I feel like I've really been neglecting the other fish that swim in these waters. The Atlantic Ocean's huge and there's a lot of fish to catch out here. So with that in mind, I figured we chase after something different today. Now today's objective is kind of different too as to how we're gonna target these different species that swim just on this beach right here. I'm kind of borrowing this idea from a lot of other YouTubers, one rod, one reel included. My goal for today is only to use lures and bait that I find on the beaches. That includes like abandoned lures, little crabs, live bait, anything like that. So it's gonna be kind of difficult, but I'm, I'm up for the challenge. This is gonna be cool. So I've got a few spots I wanna fish today. Right now we are in Falmouth, I believe. Falmouth on the Cape, place I've never fished before, place I've never even really done that much homework with. And we're just gonna basically comb this beach and look for anything that we can possibly use to catch fish today. This is essentially a fish what you find fishing challenge. So, hope you guys are pumped, stick with it, stay tuned, and let's go get some fish. So I wanna go over the tools that I'm gonna to use to kind of make this challenge possible. First and foremost, after you're done watching this video, be sure to check out some of the other YouTubers that have attempted this very challenge. I'll leave them all linked down below, at least the ones that I find. I know there's a ton out there that I'm probably missing, but just the obvious ones. So I'm gonna bring two rods with me. One is an ultralight. It's like a 7-1 spinning setup with a 3,000 size spinning reel. And then the other one is like my, my light action striper rod, which I guess I'll probably use if I see busting fish. Now, it's gonna be difficult not to use a lure that I already have, and I'll admit, I'm gonna tie it on and probably make a cast if I see busting fish, but the overall goal is to only fish stuff that I find. Admittedly, before filming this video, I was doing a little bit of freshwater fishing, and I found this lure right here. Uh, this is a lure that I found just at a little random pond, so I'm gonna clean this lure up, put some hooks on it, and use it as like my striper lure if I see some busting striper. I think it'll work pretty good. It, it's, a, it's a lure that's meant for largemouth bass, but at least we can get the video kicked off with something already, so I'm not struggling to find my initial bait. We've got two rods, two spinning, 4,000, 3,000, and I've also got this pooper scooper bait looking thing, and I'm gonna use this to find crabs, maybe some sand fleas. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Never done anything like this, so it's gonna be uh, difficult to say the least, but it's gonna be a fun challenge. So I hope you guys are pumped, stick with it, stay tuned. Let's go get some fish. Oh yeah, looking real nice and shiny. Look at that, almost brand new. That's a sweet looking lure, man. That thing's gonna catch some fish. I'm so stoked to throw this thing out here. It'd be so cool to catch a fish on a lure that I just found a few days ago. All right, I think she's ready. Let's give her a rip. This spot looks very dope. Bunch of water rushing out of here. Just kind of catching the last few moments of outgoing. I have to believe if there's any fish busting around in that pond just behind me, they probably got dumped into here. I don't think they want to get caught in that pond, but I could be wrong. All right, here we go. New lures going in. Wish me luck. Tons of current over here. Oh my goodness. This actually looks pretty damn good. Way better than what I was fishing earlier. I'm feeling this. All right, Lucky, you stay on the sand. These rocks are meant for wieners. Why was I not fishing here earlier? <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Got a nice, steady incoming. Going right under this bridge. And I've already hooked some grass, hell yeah. So much bait over here though, I'll tell you what. 
looks very fishy over here. Oh, something just busted. I just saw something bust. Good, good sign, good sign. Just saw something bust right beyond that wake. Something just, oh, I saw another fish bust. Oh, there's fish busting. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, fish are, oh, another one busted. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on. Oh, they're busting, they're busting, they're busting, they're busting, they're busting. We got grass in my jerk bait and they're busting. There we go, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Ding, got it. Okay, come on, come up and eat it. They're busting, I just saw one bust, come on. Come up for it. Dude, I saw him eat. Why aren't they eating the jerk bait? Okay, that's a really good sign, really good sign, guys. We're seeing active feeding fish. I'm throwing a bait that looks an awful lot like the bait I'm pretty sure they're eating. They're almost just out of reach though. They're kind of, they're not busting really close. Of course they're busting the other side. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. I don't know what it is. It could be bluefish. I suppose it could be striper. I know we're trying to catch anything other than striper today, but if I see a flurry of them, it's gonna be hard to resist. Oh, I got one. I'm on. Fish on. Fish on. Yes. On the jerkbait. Oh my gosh. I'm on. Oh my gosh. Yes. Stay on. Stay on. What is it? What do I have? Stay on. Oh my god. I was burning it in. What do I have? Feels pretty good. Oh my god, dude. That's a good striper. Dude, that's a good striper. Oh my gosh. This is a good striper. Oh my gosh. This is a good fish. Oh my gosh. Don't lose him. Please don't lose him. That is a good striper. Oh my gosh. That is not little. Oh, there's one right below it. There's another striper right below him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, it worked. Oh my gosh. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on. Good striper, good striper. Oh boy, how am I gonna land this guy? All right, gonna bring him over here. Oh my God, there's one right below him. Oh my gosh, he choked it too. Oh, yes, yes, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, stripey boy. Come on, stripey boy, get in here. Oh boy, good fish. Come here, I got you. I got you, you're good. You're good, you're good. Yes! Oh, that was hectic. That was so hectic. Let's go! Dude, that is a good striped bass. Check it out. Dude, let's freaking go. I caught this striped bass on a jerk bait I found in a freshwater pond up near Boston. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> yes! I'm so pumped right now. Oh my God, you have no idea how stoked I am. Check that out. Look at that, look at that jerk bait hanging out of his mouth. How epic is that? That is a quality striped bass. There we freaking go. The first bass on the fish would you find challenge. I know today's focus was to try to expand beyond striped bass, but I've just been seeing too much bait around here and I really wanted to get something kicked off. These guys are super aggressive and they can be found pretty much all throughout the Cape. So not a bad one. Definitely one of my bigger striper of the trip. Check it out on the little tiny largemouth jerk bait. Epic, how epic is that? What a freaking beaut. Put it there, boom, let's go. I'm gonna snag a quick picture of this guy and then throw him back on his way. How freaking sweet. <laughs> goes see you later stripey well you guys that was pretty freaking intense i'm not gonna lie it's so funny too because i've been throwing my bait the little reclaimed jerk bait along this current stretch right here which would make sense all this incoming current is gonna be fresh bait fresh fish coming in and that's where i saw the fish busting but that fish i caught was literally right there right along the rocks i was actually banging up against the rocks and i thought i was snagged so when i hit something which was actually the fish eating my jerk bait I ripped it hard and that was the hook set. So crazy. This is why I love saltwater fishing because it's extremely unpredictable. Epic, first one of many, let's hope. Yes. Well, thankfully we have caught the first fish of the day. I know it was a fish I said I didn't want to catch, but I mean, they were here. I wasn't going to pass them up. It seems as if the, the changing tide, the tide switch has kind of slowed down. The current's not ripping into this bay as much. But uh, we did get one fish, like I said, out of it. I'm gonna move spots now. The other thing I have to realize too is I'm not just fishing for fish, I'm fishing for lures and anything I can use to catch fish with. So I gotta keep my eyes peeled on the floor. I've been looking around. I did find something, but I can't really fish with it. Found this pretty sweet pocket knife. It's like pretty new. I'm surprised it's not completely rusted out from the salt, but that's dope. Other than that, yeah, I haven't found any lures. You'd think fishing these public spots would be littered with lures, but I guess it's a good thing. Anyway, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and we're gonna keep fishing. Let's do it. Lucky. 
Puggy, where all the fish at? Oh, thanks for the kiss. Going in. First scoop. All right. Did I get anything? Just some rocks. Can't use that. There we go. Oh, that's a good scoop. I'm feeling this scoop. Nothing. Oh, there we go. There's a little sand flea. That ought to work as some bait. It's little, but it'll do. Look at them. <laughs> They're such weird little things. Right, I got one at least. So I got a got a rod already rigged up with a little hook on there. I'm just gonna toss this thing out. See if anything will eat it. The cool thing is if I catch something small, I can use that as bait for something maybe a little bit bigger. There's like dogfish out here, I know, which is like kind of like a kind of like a beach dwelling shark. And then there's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea, honestly. There's tons of stuff that live in this water. So use a little bit of dead or live bait. It's always a good move. There we go. Hell yeah. I don't know if anything's gonna eat that, but we'll try. All right, let's give it a go. I'm just gonna yoke it out there. Big cast. Boom. On the beach. I'm just gonna let this sit as I look for some more sand fleas. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's just wait. <laughs> I don't even know if fish eat sand fleas, but I'm gonna guess that they do. Sand fleas look like good little tasty meals, little tasty crustaceans. One sand flea down, let's go find some more. All right, so I've got a handful of sand fleas right here. That should be good enough to get me started, but I might pick a few more up just in case. That's sick though, These, this is like, this seems like perfect bait. It's like just the right size to put on that little hook too. So, step one complete. We caught some sand fleas. I have absolutely no idea if fish in the Atlantic even eat sand fleas. Watch out, look, you're gonna knock the sand fleas over. It's live bait and it's readily accessible and I don't need like a cast net or a sabiki rig to catch them. So here they are. I found this little uh, little toy star on the beach. So I'm just using it to hold them. I've got probably about a dozen and a half. They're weird little things. I think they're crustaceans. They're not actually like fleas or bugs, of course, but there they are, look at them. They're just chilling in there. Boop, boop. Next up, Lucky's to feed these sand fleas to some fish. What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Oh, I'm snagged. Nice. Well, I think there goes my lure or my setup. Yep, I have lost my sand flea. Oh, geez. Got some bad news. Uh, those little sand fleas. I caught, remember those guys? Yeah, well I put them, I put them in here, in this little muscle milk bottle that I found on the side of the road. And uh, they're not doing so good. Matter of fact, I think they might be dead. This might be a failure. I don't know, I'm still gonna try to, to make a few casts with them, but I'm not feeling it. The other kind of big bummer too, is the fact that I cannot find any lures, like no lures at all near Falmouth or wood hole where I was fishing earlier. It's so weird. It's like the people down here in the Cape are like super good with their trash. I haven't even found any like fishing line, let alone lures or hooks. Found that knife this morning, that's it. So it's like, it's tough, but good news. It's an outgoing tide right now, which generally can be pretty good after the high tide. And we still have that jerk bait and we are also at a fresh beach. So I'm not giving up, I'm persevering. Just kind of bummed out that our little flea guys aren't gonna, aren't gonna be fed to something down there i don't know but we're stoked we're pumped we got one more spot to fish we're gonna give them hell right lucky go smoke them go and get them okay let's try that oh my gosh i'm on yes i got a fish no way what do i have what is this oh little striper baby little striper boy what up little striper boy <laughs> when just when I thought the day was done, we got a little striper guy. <laughs> Where did you come from? Dude, this guy must have come out of nowhere. I'm about to lose him. He's barely hooked. He is just barely hooked. Okay, enjoy this while it lasts because this guy's about to pop off. Unless, unless, whoo, we got him. Whew. 
Hell yes. I know this fish may not seem like a big deal, especially after catching a pretty good one this morning, but this fish what you find challenge is not easy. And even though I haven't found a whole lot of other lures, it's been tough to just kind of rely simply on this little jerk bait, this little uh, redemption jerk bait here. This is my second striper of the day. I've been fishing literally from eight to now, and right now it's like 4.30, completely slack, uh, dead low tide. So it's pretty iffy fishing, but it feels good that I got a, a late PM fish. Like this is great, honestly. I know it's a tiny fish, but wow, that feels really amazing. And another one for the books. Oh my gosh, gonna set him free in the clear water. See you, buddy. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Hopefully that's a start to something good. I have roughly an hour left of daylight, so I'm probably gonna end today's session right here on this very rock. So I'm gonna just keep fishing hard. That little fish gave me enough confidence to keep casting. This spot looks really good. I mean, there's plenty of that little bait that I saw originally in the morning around these rocks. Um, it's shallow right there, then it drops off. It really is perfect. Um, maybe we'll get a little bit of current that picks up at the tail end of the day, but regardless, that striper, freaking money. So good, so, so good. Oh my gosh, I had another bite. I'm on again. No way, another striper. Oh, he just came off. I just had another striper, guys. No way. No way. Last minute Hail Mary catches. Okay, okay, I got it now. I got exactly what they want. So with this jerk, but you have a lot of different ways you can throw it. It sinks now that I put bigger hooks on there, but originally it's a suspending jerk bait and it suspends in about two to four feet of water. But these bigger hooks allow this bait to kind of sink down and I can kind of count this down a bit and uh, put it in some deeper water. And once I put it in deeper water, I'm ripping it pretty quickly, but I'm making sure I give it a, a nice lengthy pause. Some stripers, especially in slack tide, I feel like can be pretty lazy fish. Like they don't want to have to work super hard for a meal. So I'm giving those fish down there a chance to eat this jerk bait on the pause, like right there, giving them a chance to kind of come up to it, inspect it only for a little bit, then I'm going to pull it away from them. Just such a juicy little, juicy little bait. Honestly, even though it is a, a little bit of a reclaimed jerk bait and I found it at some little pond, it's a great lure. Like it imitates exactly what these fish are eating. You just have to kind of play around with the cadence of your lures, especially these jerk baits that are super versatile. Um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Mess around with some, some, uh, some retrieves. You might find that one works better than the other. Just get it dialed in. Right now I've got two bites on the, on the fast rip and they find that they want something a little bit later here in a second, but it seems to be working. Damn, it's so sick. I wish I'd have caught that last one. He felt really tiny though. One more day left on the Cape Zone. So I'm, I'm like bummed, but I'm also stoked that I get a really good opportunity tomorrow. The wind looks good, the tide's gonna be good, and uh, I'm very optimistic. I've had two days to really kind of amp up my knowledge here on the Cape and saltwater fishing. I feel like I've got a small grasp on it, so I'm stoked to get out there and film another epi for you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so freaking much for sticking with it this long in the video, and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.